Welcome back to Humankind. We have just reached the era of light and we're almost ending our session of Humankind. We could, of course, continue playing after that, but I feel like we're gonna go to the end of this. So we have played through one game with one... Uh, I almost said species, but it's not a species. It is a people. So we'll go ahead and... Build some aerodromes in places. We're just gonna not even care about pollution. Let's see, what can we research? Aluminium. Airports. 150 fame. Container shipping. Battleships. Yeah, let's go with that. Who is you and what do you want? You don't want anything, do you? Well, go away then. Let's see. Okay, these are... Very good. Let's send them out here against the Aztecs again. We'll instantly resolve because sadly Everything else kind of goes the wrong way. We didn't lose anything. As the Aztecs break their heads upon our walls. Ah, uh, yes. Non-aggression pact with the Siamese, fine with me. What can we do with you? Infrastructure for money making it's so weird to me that the enemy just killed my ships that wasn't great I was going to say it's so weird to me that an enemy troop carriers are so much stronger than my actually de dedicated battleships. But I don't think those were uh, troop carriers. Oh well. It's fine, we lost a whole bunch of very experienced uh, captains there. That's not ideal. Let's build some planes, shall we? What are these good? Crude efficiency. Uh, let's build some military stuff here. This. What place is this? I don't even want to build like an ironclad and more steam frigate stuff. We're waiting for the upgrades. Let's build some culture stuff, some influence stuff, some money stuff, definitely some old money stuff. Let's see what we got. Oh man, so much infrastructure that's really old. Let's get some of that going. You guys are useless. Rather, you guys are not doing anything. That's not the same thing as being useless. So we have Standard planes taking off from this military aerodrome. Okay, then. What, what, what? To what do I owe the pleasure? Sometimes I just accidentally click on one of those things, on those icons, and they jump into speaking to them. It is quite always entirely accidental. Do we still have not an upgrade for them? No. <laughs> oh, well, let's upgrade our military stuff. I have something here. Yes, I cannot dispute the. Yeah, sounds great. We'll take it. 
At this point, it's so late in the game, I don't I don't really care. We'll just do it. Uh, let's get a city watch going, finally, after 500 years. We'll just build whatever. And we'll instant resolve this as well. Didn't lose a single thing. So while the AI was quite impressive with the first attack on Babylon, uh, they, they are kind of just throwing their helmets at my walls at this point. I don't think they can land here. The whole coastline is just city, which is pretty damn cool. But they can later uh, get Amphibious Assault as a thing. So they would be able to do some damage on us. See what we want. Let's go for more money making schemes. And what do we need here? Hamlet now. Some old stuff. Yes, naval strategies. Very good. Uh, I don't have any ships anymore. Oh, no, no, no. I'm wrong. I do have ships. But these are not the ones that I can upgrade. Um, I can have them built specifically and they take a real long time to build. Let's build a battleship or two. Mercantilism, mass production, aluminium, a supercomputer lab, missile cruiser, volunteer computing. Get some aluminium going first. But we're only 50 turns away from the end of this. I think we're going to start on the Research Institute just to get a little bit more fame. And we might also build the last uh, wonder of the world here, the Sydney Opera House that's open to us to get some more fame. Giving us some more stuff on a calm city. Where can we even build it? Down by the water. Maybe we build it here. Okay. Let's see. Lothal. Come on, everyone. One last big push. Babylon didn't help. Camera didn't really help either. What do you say to this? Sure, sure. They keep sending their troops. I don't mind all that much. Kind of funny at this point. Can we just buy a plane? Probably. Can we move planes? Probably not. I mean, maybe. Let's take this plane and send it here. That was instantaneous. So now we have planes in this base protecting us. And these are like, nope. We have learned our lesson. What can we do here? Help with the Opera House. Doesn't really help, but we'll help anyway. And we're helping. Um, doesn't matter anymore. Let's get some more influence going. A proposal for your consideration? There's no proposal for me to consider, boy. It's just popping up on my DMs and and. Speak without speaking. That's unacceptable. Tell me what is 
on your mind. Did I click that on accident again? My god, I've been more in the diplomatic screen on accident than I actually wanted to go there. Surely. Aerial warfare researched. Can I upgrade that that flight boy? Ugh. Eh, kinda. But I need aluminium first. Blech, doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, let's go research the research institute. Which will not be done before the end of this. Same with the opera house. It will not be done. How often are you willing to do that? Quite a few more times, it looks like. I don't think they can land here. I think they want to, but I don't think they can. They could still raid me on the outside here. How are they? Are they at war with you? No. Why do you let them go through your stuff? That's so uncool. And four more turns and be done. The osmosis event, sure. Can I offset my pollution by planting forests? Does that right? Is, is that enough? If I build a forest here and a forest there, does that help with pollution? I don't think so. It doesn't say if it's per turn. You know, that's my issue. Two terms minus 10 pollution and after that it doesn't anything. It doesn't anything anymore. That's right. Uh, I'm just clicking towards the end at this point. Don't care anymore what happens to the world or us. Well, to us uh, to a degree. And there we go. This is our last term. The gain has reached its term limit. We will be remembered as Emperor Mythical Ruler of the Harapans. So let's see if we actually win or not. Might be the Zulu that win. The march of human history is long. Making your place in it an even greater achievement. No other civilization has equaled your ability to leave a lasting mark on humankind. History will probably remember you as the Green. Your achievements in agriculture brought you great renown. And the wonder you built. World famous and often visited. It brought you fame, respect, and probably a nice income from tourism. One more testament to your perseverance. Part of your legacy was being involved in the longest war in history. And with all these, there is your role as a diplomat. Few can boast of an alliance with at least four other nations. Congratulations. Under your guidance, the thrilling tale of humankind has been rewritten in your own words. There may be future adventures and deeds, and even grander scope for this grand story. Regardless, you have left a great mark and answered the question. How far will you push humankind? Well, lovely. And thus, we win. I really love this little recap at the end. Uh, it got a few things wrong. I don't think I have ever had four alliances. But as you can see... Uh, we have won. Our best era was the industrial era, apparently. While for Mr. Agamemnon over here, it was the contemporary era. And we have this very cool overview at the end here. I really like this.
So during the Neolithic time, we got our knowledge star, basically. Then in the ancient time, we got some deeds here. Uh, and how much fame we had. Going up through the ages. We should give a little bit more information on the deeds we get. Didn't really fight, didn't really trade. Agrarian stars, got three here, nice. No deeds in the industrial area. No deeds in the contemporary era, except a lot of militaristic stars because we went ham, killed a whole bunch of things. We don't care for all the others, so we're going to skip throughout this. And here are our lovely, lovely graphs. Our longest war was against the Aztecs. Uh, longest ideology was world, meaning uh, on the ideology axes, uh, basically, we were considered with the world a lot. The best city was Harappa, obviously. Uh, we have found 136 curiosities. At some point, we stopped. Uh, our fame is nice. Let's see our food. We weren't actually the best towards the end here. This is where we completely shined and then we dropped down a few times and then we just kind of burp, depleted because we didn't really care to have more food than we needed anymore. Our industry was steadily going up. Someone went deep into the red here. That looks like a bug to me. That looks like an extreme bug. <laughs> Crazy. Science, we never really did much about it. It just kind of came with with us, influence. We had a whole lot of that. We didn't spend much anymore once we got all the wonders that we wanted. Stability, never had an issue with stability. Starting out, it kind of goes low. Had a little dip. No, we never really had a dip that is interesting enough. Population just steady up with all the food we had. We had the most populous people. Religion, this is where we went secular and it just doop, went down. Research, uh, we were surpassed or matched toward the end there. Did fairly well for a while. Trade never really mattered much to us. Military, yeah. They just had a whole lot. I think this is when they lost against us and we destroyed all those dudes. This was the battle on the boats. <laughs> Cities, yeah. That's nice. So we could continue the game, we can quit, or we could do uh, a game recap. What does, what, what does, what, what, let's click on this, replay. Oh, I think that's just this again. Yeah, okay. All right, and I'll leave it at that. Thank you very much for following along on this match on humankind playing as the Harapans through the whole of humankind. I might do another one. I'll see and watch uh, by this time when this episode is out. I will have seen how the videos are perceived on the channel and I will have made my choice or, you know, how much I enjoy playing a bit because it is really quite fun and there are many facets to it. I think it can be way deeper than civilization in uh, strategic decisions at the moment and tactical depth is definitely higher as well i feel so with this lovely music in the background and my thoughts on the game being yeah this is a fantastic 4x game they really outdone themselves here it has its bugs and issues obviously we encountered a bunch in this but the game is still oodles of fun so thank you very much for following along for watching, see you around next time, until then, bye bye.